Hello, this is Broyer here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2, The Kingdom of Brittany. Um, we are just kind of slowly building up some money and forces and things, and working our way through, hopefully, Ireland at some point, once we can get a claim over here. Uh, the Chancellor, my Chancellor, my wife, suggested it would be a benefit to the realm, to the realm if I study the language spoken at foreign courts. She also offers herself to aid me in my studies. An excellent idea. I gained some learning. I owe her a favor. Um, I think I'm okay with that, though. We'll see if that works. What is going on here? He wants my niece and the Prince of Scotland to be married. My niece is nothing super special, like strength or anything like that. Um, do I want to be bonded to the Scotland guys any more than I already am? Uh, I don't know. Sure, why not? Maybe he'll eventually give me my stuff back. <laughs> I don't think he will. There's no way. Uh, by calling in a favor, she forced me to start a vote on the execution committee law. What is this? Execution committee. Um. Execution. Uh, influence executions. So they want the council to be able to influence executions. Okay. I mean, it's not that big a deal, I guess. Alright, so the council can now do the executions. Wow, she must have had a lot of favors with everybody. Alright, well, I wasn't planning on executing anybody anytime soon anyway. So, whatever. Unless you guys start executing a bunch of people, which would be odd, I suppose. No, I haven't changed any of these in a while. Um, let's see. The nobles are the ones that like to pay taxes more than give me troops. So I can bump this up a bit. It does reduce the amount of levy I get, but it does increase the amount of gold I get, which is nice. These two guys like to be straight down the middle, typically, and then the burgers are the ones that want to give me more troops than anything. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and bump this down. Why not? Uh, the slog governs how much tax, etc., Send the law for review by the council. Let's just say okay. Maybe the council will vote for it. We'll find out. Maybe they won't. They have approved. Yay, more gold. Wow, they actually voted for this because they're returning a favor to the queen. Thanks, honey. Whatever. <laughs> she helped me get that passed. Why not? Now, that does probably decrease my... Well, it's not too bad. Actually, I'm okay with this. 22 is actually pretty close to where it was already. On the military side of things. I don't think I'm getting much troops. Actually, it's probably actually this down here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's going to be the vassals itself. Which I try not to use vassals too often, to be perfectly fair. I can actually order... Uh, hire holy orders. Oh, I can hire these with... Piety. I mean, they do cost a ridiculous amount of gold. But that's kind of cool, actually. If I don't have to pay the upfront higher cost for 4,000 troops. That is cool, actually. I like that. Might be something to look into if I want to get my land back down here. My niece has asked you to consider her for the position of Spy Master. Well, I'm sure she'd be up to the task. It's definitely not something that it is, uh... It would be scandalous. The vassals would not be happy. Well, they're already not happy about my wife. Uh, my spy master is a 10. Is he powerful? He's not a powerful vassal. How much do they hate me because of my wife at the moment? Scandalous counselor. Minus 15. Will this get them to 30? It's really only one way to find out. Uh, the mayor, you know, is unhappy with me because of being fired. She likes me a whole lot. Um, sure. Let's see what happens. Is this getting him down to 30? I don't think so. It does not seem to. This guy is not happy with me because I'm not crusading at the moment. A new bird has arrived in the muse and a new book on the art of writing poetry. Um, I think the book leads to learning and the bird maybe leads to martial or something. Let's do the bird. Uh, somebody in my council is not doing something. My spy master, oh, it's my, my niece. Um, 
Yeah, let's go with studying some technology again. I think I'm okay with that. Hopefully you don't get captured. That would be sad. Especially since that's going to be my son's future bride. Maybe, maybe not. In fact, how old is he? He is 15. Yeah, he's about to be a grown man. The new bird is more aggressive than the ones I'm used to. It killed many rabbits, but was unwilling to relinquish its catch. It even attacked me when I tried to pry one away. Um, I can become depressed. I don't want to be depressed. All right, let's try poetry. At least I get some diplomacy out of that because of the zero I already have. A steward comes to me one afternoon. He explains that he has devised a plan to bring in exotic goods by setting up a trade route. This would, be, of course, be require a sizable monetary investment, but with potential profits would also be great. Oh, goodness. I need the money, but if this gives me a lot of gold in return at some point, that's probably good. Uh, the time has come to outfit the ship for our tra trading expedition. The harbor master shows you a large ship with a sizable cargo hold that would be perfect for the job, but it does come at a quite a hefty price. Oh, no, I'm not going to steal it. Let's, let's just try it. Maybe I get a bunch of gold from it. The word has spread that you're planning a trading expedition. A group of priests has arrived at your court with a quest. Request. They are offering temple funds for the journey if you allow them to continue on, can come along along the journey. Uh, sure. Let's see what happens. It's time to set out on the trading expedition. Hopefully it will yield good profits. My uh, daughter, or my niece I should say, has finished her education in diplomacy. I notice with pride that she has attained nothing less than a master of her level. She's a gray eminence. Very nice. What, should I just put her in charge of something too? Huh. Why not? We're gonna have an entire female council. That's not scandalous at all, is it? Actually, let me double check my uh, vassals again after I put my... Yep. I guess I can't get any more scandalous than I already am. My liege, my work in... Uh, a name that I will never be able to pronounce seems to have come to fruition. Yeah, I think I do want to use this. It's gonna cost me some gold. It'll cost me some prestige. But it will, in fact, get me something to go after this guy. Now, is this guy... It's got 1,700 troops and no allies at the moment. So I think I could be take him out pretty quickly. So let's use that. Let's pause this. I'm not doing the uh, the prospering thing at the moment. Uh, I'm doing the war chest, which is fine. So, and I have how many troops again? 2,200. 2,200 versus his 1,700. I think I can take those out. I should be able to. So let's come over here. Boom. Declare war. I want to claim it. My council says no? Why do you say no? Two votes were for and five were against. Why do you say no? Okay, let's see if I can get some favors with them then, or something. Um, he says zealot, zealot, zealot. Three zealots, goodness. Four zealots. Oh, that's not a zealot, what am I saying? Um, what is that symbol then? That's not zealots. Oh, he's returning a favor. Does she not want to go to war or something? Force realm peace. Can I see he was against it? I don't think I can, can I? Uh, I cannot. Oh, no, I can click to toggle voting. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. So my, my niece is for it, but everybody else is against it because my wife is against it. Can I persuade my wife to go do it? Um, quest council support. Uh, she'll vote as I do for 36 months and I will owe her a favor. Um, she does not want to do that. Um, I can buy a favor, but she will not do that as well. I can just send her a gift. Start there. Now if I buy her a favor. Nope. What about council support? No. Seriously. Come on now. And the other guys are attached to her at the moment because of reasons. And for how many more months? 20 more months. Alright, fine. We will wait 20 months. We've got that claim for a bit longer anyway. So we'll just wait. My ex expedition has finally reached the realm of High Chief Terenity. Teren Terenty. Terenty. Um, who is where? Oh, way over here. Okay. Um, your steward asks what gift we shall bring forth as a token of friendship. 
Can lose 30 gold, but he is flattered. A chest of quality cloth from back home, which is a fine gift. A pouch of rare herbs, which I lose 5 gold, which is nothing. My courtesy should be enough. Um, let's give him a fine gift. That should be fine for now. At dinner, you notice High Chief Trenti's one eyes. Trenti, one eye, okay. Face growing red with annoyance as he glares at you, as at your steward shoveling his food in with his bare hands. Please excuse him. I am still trying to teach this barbarian civilized manners. Uh, he becomes angry with me. Um, let's not disrespect the culture. Unfortunately, that would be bad. You're walking idly, idly around the court when you suddenly hear a discussion increasing in intensity around the corner. Turning the corner, you're surprised to see one of the priests from your expedition engaged in a wild theological debate with a local noble. This could endanger the whole venture. Right, so now I can make them angry with me. Um, I can become zealous. It does give me some martial. But the uh, high chief does not like me because of the religious quarrel. Um, great. Let's not uh, put the venture at, well, I don't know. No, nope, let's just, let's, let's not do it right now. I need the gold and hopefully this can make it nicer. After long hours of negotiating, discussing possible terms of trade, you and the high chief seem to arrive at a mutual understanding. This will be a profitable agreement. While I was at the foreign court, I also spent some time observing and discussing with the courtiers regarding how they organize their administration. It is fascinating how differently they manage things over here. I should apply some of those tricks where I might, or uh, when managing my own finances. I gain fortune builder. My modest attempts to write poetry was never meant to be published in any way, but wherever I go, bards and minstrels are reciting or singing my poems. Fame and fortune awaits. I can gain poet, which gives me some more diplomacy in my currently zero spot. Or my poetry was never meant for others. Um. It's not much prestige, but you know what? Let's see if I can get the diplomacy something. With the new trade route set up, you return with the first batch of goods and sell them off for a nice profit. The influx of new wares will also benefit the economy for a long period to come. So I did get more gold than I put into it, which is good. Gain some prestige. City tax increases. Cap well, everything. Taxes increase. This was very, very prosperous indeed. For 30 years. Uh, yeah, that was a good deal. Very good deal. Uh, the steward has brought in riches to your realm through his competent handling of the trading expedition, and he probably expects to be rewarded with a share of the wealth. Um, yeah, I'll give him some gold. I think that's a good, good guy. The Monophysite Faith Triumphant. All right. Oh, wrong thing. Sorry. Uh, young Hanfroy. What a name. My son. Has finished his education in the ways of intrigue. I noticed with pride that he's gained nothing less than a masterful lo lo uh, level. He is an elusive shadow. Not a boy. But, of course, your wife is now... Uh, your betrothed is also high on the intrigue. So, wow, you're going to be... Man, you're actually very well-rounded. Goodness. I want to play as this guy. This guy is nice. Excellent. Well, in that case, let's... Um, betrothed can marry. My son and my niece. Again, I'm really hoping this isn't that weird as it probably is. It was a different time, I think, maybe. I can collect royal aid. Um, 200 prestige is a lot, but I do need to get towards that 700 gold to finish my current ambitions. So let's do the gold for now. Uh, unlanded son. Don't want to give me land right now because I'm probably going to die soon anyway, just like my father did. Or my brother, whichever it was. Uh, my turn to hurt my... Cannot talk. My determination and hard work has paid off. Studying with the Queen, I have learned several new languages to a decent level of fluency. This will surely increase my prestige at foreign courts. More diplomacy, more learning. My positive at all now. One. One diplomacy. That's just hilarious, actually. That'll work. Alright, are you guys still voting against this? You are still voting against this. Why? Because of my wife, probably, right? How many more months does my wife have you guys in a stranglehold? 16 more months. Goodness, it's not even been half the time. Alright, council. Somebody's not doing something. 
Uh, my court chaplain. Uh, let's just hunt a posse. Let's do that for now. Uh, it's really another disease coming through. Come on now. What is this? Uh, consumption. Go away, consumption. Or spread into my other land. No, that too. Whichever. Is that really 150 galleys? Wow. That's a lot of a lot of ships. I'm not sure what they're fighting over, but whatever. These are dark days. My daughter probably has consumption. That's no good. Survive! Survive! Oh, I can hold a grand tournament, but that costs money or I can extort my subjects. Nope. I'm gonna hold off. I need to keep going with the gold. How much I'm getting? Uh, 6.85. Oh, it's getting there. Uh, child Lex Focus. This is my daughter who has consumption, so hopefully she does not die anytime soon. Um, let's give her go for thrift. Let's kind of again, kind of start rounding out the children a bit. I think that's a good idea. Um, who is this? My kinswoman is trying to kill my niece. Stop it! Stop killing people. We're trying to, especially since she's my spy master. So, seems odd. My nephew has requested to join the Knights of Santiago in their struggle against the infidel, even though this will forever disinherit him? Seriously? My nephew. Um. I mean, he's not my heir anyway. Uh, I gain 100 piety. Sure. You know what? Go with my blessing, sir. As the day drags on, seemingly never ending, you can barely keep your eyes open. You seem to have no energy at all. I am fatigued. It's not a huge drop in health, but we're probably leading to something else. Uh, my courtier, educated guess is that you... Oh, this is my, my, uh, my physician. He thinks I'm in the early stages of dysentery. Well, that's no good. To rid you of your elements, he ordered you to sleep hanging upside down for a couple days. It will rebalance you. You feel like a bat. But apparently it worked. That's cool. Uh, or then I just get sicker. Now I have fever. Man, the number of things affecting me right now are crazy. Uh, my marshal has initiated a massive recruitment drive in Leinster. Cool. I think that's good, right? You can no longer ignore the irritating, irritation in your throat. You begin to violently cough. I have a cough. That probably means, again, that I have consumption, which is no good. Uh, technology advisor. I want... I did improve keeps. I think I want castle infrastructure next, correct? Although this is technically, I think, going after the uh, military side of things and why it popped up. Um, you know what? Siege equipment is something that I would want at some point as well, but I think I can hold off until I get into war and just see where I want to put those points. Although I'm probably going to forget. So you know what? Let's do the siege because I like the sieges to go quicker. And we'll leave the rest for now. And then, you know what? I am going to do the castle infrastructure. Because once I get the gold, I would like to start building the castle walls too. Iasep has called in a favor on my wife, my steward. Uh, yeah, my marshal's doing stuff. Council, my council. The other guys are still attached to her for how many more months? Wait, what? Oh, he's returning to mayor, the mayor one. Oh, wow, the mayor's really just making some, some strides. Okay, so wait a minute. Now, does that mean I can declare war now? Still no. What? Now everybody else is on this other side again, still. Ah, you people. Stop it. Is it because of this guy? He owes a favor to the bishop. Wow, she owes a favor to everybody. People and their favors. I want you to... Uh, what I want? I want you to... Uh, let's see, my council... You, come, I don't know, 
Where is it? Why am I not seeing it? I want you to, uh... Oh, can't request council support. Why not? Oh, he's already influenced by a favor. Alright, fair enough. Can I request council support from you? Yes. And I will owe him a favor. Um, do I want that? Who was the guys that were voting for me? Or not voting for me, I should say. The Duke Darien is the only one that is voting for me. So this is, uh, it's this guy down here is voting for me. Okay. So my niece, I can owe her a favor. I guess. I would really like to get this war over with and just kind of get it done before he gets allies and stuff. So if I request a favor from her and him, that means I should be able to declare the war now. Wait, why did that not work? Oh, they did not pop up yet. I will support you. I will support you. So now, declare war. Now it's a yes. And yes. So let me double check to make sure. He's got 1,800 troops. I have 2,288. So I think that should be good enough. So let's do it. Declare war. And claim this. Send. And on that wonderful, awesome cliffhanger, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. I do appreciate you watching, and hopefully you join me again next time as I continue to work on getting some of uh, Ireland under my, uh, my kingdom. Thank you again, and goodbye.